there's this like challenge that I thought of a few weeks ago when University came out because we all like to make fun of EA's builds. But the thing is, we don't actually know what restrictions they have in place for their buildings. We know they have these like weird vague like budgets and like item counts <laughs> and stuff. But I don't actually know what those numbers are. However, we can kind of base them with the actual houses we have in the game. And so here's the concept. We take an EA house, we renovate it, but we don't add any extra simoleons and we don't add any objects. So I, you just leave it the same basically. No, but what I mean is if I want to put something new down, I have to first delete something else. Because then the house is the same price as it was before. There's the same number of items, but ideally it'll look a little bit better because some of the houses in this game are kind of weird. I did one university starter home, I did one base game starter home in Oasis Springs, but today I want to try another base game starter home in Oasis Springs. You guys, this house <laughs> is so weird. It isn't like the weirdest one, I think it's just one of the saddest ones, because this is like a major box. I mean, you can see it already, it's just a box, and that's okay. Luckily this house has a lot of landscaping, and it's two bedrooms. We actually have a lot of stuff to work with as far as renovation goes, and I love this style of house. I just want to be able to make it a little bit prettier. <laughs> like, why is this light so high up on the wall? Doesn't that seem off to you? Like, shouldn't it be like, I don't know, there maybe? That's where I would have put it at least, but it's not up to me. It's fine. So we're gonna make sure we have move objects off. We also get no simoleons. <laughs> Zero. And now we have to try and renovate this house without changing anything. It's actually a very fun challenge because it's really hard to renovate a house with such limited items to work with. I mean, there isn't really many objects that we can like delete for extra money or like delete to replace with more things. Is there just not a, like what, what's going on in here? Why isn't there even a TV? There's just a couch facing the wall. Oh my god. Okay, we guys, we got some work to do here. So step one, I'm moving this light. I'm serious. We can't deal with that. When the game first came out, you couldn't actually drag out the edges of hipped roofs like this. Like, it wasn't possible. So back in the olden days, people used to, like, drag the roofs and, and make, like, an overhang themselves. It looked horrible. Or it would just be, like, flush with the roof like this. But now, we can actually drag out the hipped roofs. Thank god. <laughs> So there's a bit of an overhang. It looks less dumb. I don't know why it didn't let us do that before. I'm also gonna put it on like one less high foundation because we can get 16 simoleons from that and I think it'll look a little bit better. I feel very tempted to make the walls shorter, but I honestly kind of like having this giant door. I think maybe th that sort of taller wall height suits this place. We can't even afford- <laughs> okay, I'm gonna delete this window and replace it with a plant because then we know how many objects we have to work with, but I think getting rid of that window is a good move. I wish this was three wide. I don't, I don't like where it sits here. <laughs> I feel kind of tempted to even make this whole space a little bit smaller. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. Let's, let's do that. I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of that toilet paper. I'm gonna be real, you guys. <laughs> we, we can't afford toilet paper in this economy. 50 simoleons for a piece of toilet paper? I don't think so. There, we can make the windows more centered now as well. I think that helps. I hope that helps. <laughs> and we have a little bit of money to work with. I think I'm gonna start by replacing all the lights in all those rooms with ones that are a little bit better because it's so dark. <laughs> so dark and so sad. I think that works. We really don't have many objects to work with here, do we? Also, this itty bitty mirror. Oh, this is so sad. Okay, I'm gonna try um, 192. What kind of bookcase can we afford to replace that with? Nothing good, oh no. <laughs> hmm. Quick, how can we save money? <laughs> Help. Do you think that shrinking the house again is, is the move? Guys, I'm gonna be real. I think we, m we might have to shrink the house again. I don't like that window being there, but that's actually- maybe that's kind of cute. And honestly, I think it being smaller is really a good thing. It needs- it needs to be smaller, <laughs> and we need the money. We really don't have anything to work with. It's because these windows are so- like, this big window is 290 simoleons. It's just the style of this house it makes it so expensive. I don't know how to fix it. Say maybe we got rid of these two windows. We could get a TV there at least. Oh, I feel like it's a living room now, but it's not a good one. Oh no. Maybe we need to make the walls shorter. You guys, I think it's time. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll save some money on the windows too this way because the smaller ones are less expensive. Just gonna have to have a, a slightly more sad looking front door, but that's okay. It might even be nicer this way. How much money did that other door cost? I'm stressed. <laughs> 
I'm just trying to have the cheapest place possible, okay? Do you think we could get away with this one instead? I mean, the colors aren't really ideal. It'd be so much cheaper though. <laughs> or if we could get the teeny tiny one. That's 260. This door is 400. The teeny tiny one could be good. It might even look better if we made the place smaller. I'm wondering now. We had to change like the whole place. <laughs> but if we did it like that instead, does that window match the door? Can you go away? No, that matches. Is that weird though? I think that window might be kind of weird, but we could get rid of it. <laughs> think about how much money we could save if we did it this way. The door would be so much cheaper. <laughs> I just don't know if this is the vibe. Is this the vibe? Can that be the vibe? It's the vibe. I've decided it's happening. <laughs> we can just change that, so that's easy. I like this thing a lot, but I don't know if it's if it's worth keeping. I don't know if it fits. You know the vibe? Does, does it fit the vibe? Honestly, the roof trim, it's, it's not helping itself. <laughs> we, we should change that first. You guys, I'm seriously considering making the house even smaller. I know that probably seems like a, an interesting and weird choice, but like, I really think this house is too big for its own good. Like, I think if it were a little bit smaller, that's gonna mess with this front window. We can fix that. Honestly, if we made this like, that's kind of how it looked before. Oh my God, it's awful, isn't it? I feel like this thing is way too big for its own good. I don't know, I think this makes it so much easier for us to make this room look nice. Cause we have more, like the house is smaller, but we have more ability to like fill it now that it's smaller. <laughs> Cause before we could not afford to put any furniture in this place, but I kind of think we can now. I think, I think we're better off this way, okay. <laughs> I wanna start by getting a, this bookshelf is really expensive, so it might be a mistake, to be honest, to buy it, but like, if we could just get one that looks a little bit better, because we had this one before, that's awful. Even like that would look nicer in here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get rid of this plant. Maybe we could get a rug instead. Oh, hang on. I wonder if we could figure out a way to make this living room more substantial. <laughs> if we did it like that instead, I don't know what color we'll do on the rug yet, but like if we had a big rug, and laid it out like this. We get a smaller dining table, probably, let me. And maybe we could like sell this light and put another couch. Oh God, the fact that we have to like sell lights to put couches down is unbelievable. I think that's a good idea though. Also, I might continue the tile into the bedrooms. Like, I think it's, ex can we pick a different, more exciting one? Like, I like this tile. Oh, even this, like that kind of has more oomph to it. I think it's a little bit more bold. We could pick like a beige instead too. Like that's, that's fine. I think this place looks nice. Cause then we can maybe have kind of a bolder looking rug. I don't know which one. That one was expensive. 565. Oh my gosh. 435, 375. Like I just, this one's nice and it's a good size, but is it more worth having like that one? Like that's really pretty. I think I wish we could afford a computer. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I mean, we definitely won't be able to. I got rid of the dresser, but like to put in a desk and a computer, we need to have not, not just the desk, but we need to have the money for the computer. <laughs> we need to have the items for a chair. Okay, wait, get rid of the toilet paper. I think we gotta make this room brighter, to be honest. It's it's really not good right now. Even if we did it like this, like it needs to be brighter in this room. Okay, we can get a chair. We have a lot of landscaping. To, what if we deleted like one of these little plants to try and avoid, wait, <laughs> delete a plant, buy a nightstand. Okay, what else can we get rid of for, like we need the money to be able to afford, okay, what if we made this patio smaller? Insufficient funds to make it smaller? Oh dear, <laughs> there we go. We got 43 simoleons, like that didn't really make a difference, but <laughs> we could get rid of that. Okay, we get rid of that thing, we buy a plant. Like this one's really cheap and, and nice. I can't put it in that corner, are you serious? Why is it so big? Okay, I'll put it over here. It's so big, <laughs> you can't put it anywhere. That looks really nice though. We gotta figure out how to get the money for a computer. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. Like what's, what's the spender here? Honestly, these doors are so expensive. They look really nice, but like we, we certainly should replace them with cheaper ones. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to spend all that money on doors. Okay, 560, what else can I do? <laughs> what else can we sell? Is this expensive? 48, okay. It's not expensive. <laughs> Never mind. That bookcase was 400. Maybe we'd be better off if we put like a little table behind this thing. Like that was only 65. No, that makes more sense. Okay, wait. Cause then we can sell this. <laughs> and now we have these little book, we can use that as a bookcase. Or we could even put like a bookcase in the kids room. Bookcase and a computer. And like maybe a, a mirror. We got 40 simoleons. Um, okay, I sold two plants. <laughs> okay, no, I sold, I sold three plants to put one mirror down. We really are, are cutting it close with the budget here, are we? Oh God, what else can we do? <laughs> I feel so trapped. I wanna scoot it forward on the lot. Maybe like I deserve more money than I have right now. Oh, can we put like a cheaper, maybe like a tile on the wall back here? That one looks horrible. 
<laughs> so not that one. Maybe this? That's costing us extra money. It looks better though. I think we need to figure out a way to get our head in the game with this, you guys. We don't even know what we're doing right now. I say we, it's not your fault, this is me. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, I made it worse. <laughs> we, we only have two simoleons. Oh no. I really think having this room on my computer was very worthwhile though. Like that was important. I think we needed that computer really badly. I still have two objects to work with, by the way. <laughs> not that you would know because I can't even afford them, but just for the record, I do have two left. Oh, this bed does not work either. I want something prettier. Can I not even afford to change the color? Oh my God, this is tragic. Okay, well, I have four items to work with now. <laughs> I think the item count won't be a problem in this one. I think it's definitely gonna be the fact that we can't like properly finish the house because we are really running low on funds because we added a TV and a computer to this house. Like we've really upped it just by making the house smaller, <laughs> which I think was worth it, but oh, that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? No, it's nice. This was worth it. I think that looks good. We need a plant in there. I can't afford 60 simoleons to put a plant right here. <laughs> oh my God. All right, that's four more items to work with. Honestly, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> eight more items to work with. Can I afford two more chairs? All right, that's six left. Six left and a rug. So five left, six, seven. <laughs> I just delete these plants and I count my money that I have left. Okay, that's 60 simoleons. Um, it's so dark in here too, but I don't think we can do anything about that. Scoot it forward again. <laughs> I want to save some of these plants that we can use for landscaping. I think that would be nice if we could actually afford to put some plants outside. Maybe we can get rid of like one of those. 88 simoleons. Oh good, okay. We still have like six items left to put down too, so we've got a lot of a lot of room to work with here. That lamp is really cheap. It's only 45. Okay, that actually looks- that helps so much too. It's so dark in here. Okay, okay. What can we do? Oh! We sell the fence that was underneath this. That's a pro tip, by the way. If you auto place a fence, it puts a fence underneath the stairs in front of them that you can't see. So there's a, technically a fence here right now. If I just control drag, I can delete that fence that's there. We got 54 simoleons back. Okay, thank God. Can we afford a tree? We can afford a tree. That is such an ugly tree. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Like what trees are around here in the neighborhood? They have like this kind of tree. What? Which one is that? It's like this thing, 145. You think I'm made of money? Folks, I have a drastic measure I wanna take. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh no, Simsy, you're making the house smaller again? And the answer is yes, <laughs> I am. We just have to like move some items around. Um, I think it'll look really nice. Honestly, it's kind of good. I deleted like the whole living room doing that, but <laughs> I'll put it back. I'll put a wall there too, honestly. I think it, I don't like that couch being like half against the wall like that. I don't, I don't like how that looks. I don't know if I have like the ability to care about that though. Like we don't really have much money to work with and I just wanted to have enough money to buy a tree. <laughs> Cause if we could put a tree over here, I think that would help us so much. And we have some other, like, we can use these things to landscape a little bit. And we have a few items that we can work with still. So we can definitely, like, I think I have four items left that we can put down. So we definitely, like, a, like I said, have some room to, to mess around a little bit. The issue is that we don't have move objects. <laughs> I mean, the house didn't have a tree before. I just think it looks so sad without one. <laughs> well, that's the kind of landscaping it had. I only added a couple more objects. We still have three left to work with. We can put our little pathway back. Some terrain paint. That landscaping does not look good. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, you guys. That looks horrible. <laughs> we can keep the bin there where it was before. Just put it right in the front of the house. Who cares? Okay, three objects. What's worth putting down? Would it be more worth the money to change out the lights? I mean, I don't know what to. It's kind of a big jump to the better ones. <laughs> They're like 150 simoleons. <laughs> I mean, even like that would be nicer, wouldn't it? <sighs> I'm trying to keep it base game only too. So I just don't like these, like this, this lamp is not the vibe. Not even close to the vibe. <laughs> Fine, they can stay. It's more worth spending our money on like a, a further upgrade. <laughs> Three objects. Maybe we could put like a little side table in here. Honestly, you guys, like a lamp on that table helps with the darkness problem. <laughs> And it looks good. No, that's nice. I like that. Okay. Okay. We have one object left and 20 simoleons. Should we put like a plant in the kid's bedroom? Exactly zero simoleons left. Unbelievable. <laughs> Was it worth it? Does it even look good? I don't know. Yeah, I, do I don't know. I mean, the house costs 16k. 
It's really cheap, base game only. We didn't add any objects. I did just make it smaller than it was before. <laughs> but the thing is, like, it it looks better a little bit smaller because before, remember this whole room was empty. There wasn't even a, t like, there was one couch and a table with two chairs. The couch just faced the wall. And now we have a computer, we've got a TV, like, we've got all of the bases covered. And I think that helps a lot. Like, it's actually a, a nice house that is worth living in with your sims. And all we had to do is make it a little bit smaller. It is small, <laughs> but it works. Honestly, I think the biggest plus they've added is making these bookcases functional. Like, these little objects, now that they're functional bookcases, so helpful. We did it, kind of. I don't like how this room looks with it up again. Like, I wish I could have had a wall right there, <laughs> but I can't. So we just, we'll just sit here and suffer. I love this kind of challenge, you guys. <laughs> I think it's so fun to try and do this and try and like work with what this little tiny budget we have. Oh no, the roof is overhanging the back. Okay, <laughs> we're fine. We have this tiny, tiny budget and to try and make a house look good on it and not add any objects. I mean, this is definitely a better version of their starter home. I don't think it looks that good. I'd like to make the lights brighter, maybe add a thing on this wall, but honestly, we have a TV and a computer now. I think that's the main takeaway from this. <laughs> We no longer have a couch facing an empty wall. 16 to 11. The house before cost 16,603. Ours was 16,211. So ours is even 400 simoleons cheaper. That's impressive. And look at how much more full ours is. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I was worried. I was like, I didn't do a very good job, did I? But I think, no, I did. No, I did. Yeah, no, we, yeah, we were fine. We did good. Their house though, they had like some of these painted outside. I think that looks kind of nice. Let's add some. <laughs> yeah. And they had like terrain paint all around the house, which maybe is like too much, but. Oh no, I like this. I'm pro, guys, we did so good. Oh, wow, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'll link my last two attempts at this sort of challenge down below. I hope you like these videos. I seriously have so much fun doing them. It's these like weird, like very minor build challenges that are so much fun. I don't know why. It just is. I'd love to see you guys try and do a thing like this too. Like having no packs, <laughs> no move objects, no money, <laughs> no additional objects. Like what is this challenge even called? I don't know. It's just a fun one. But on that note, I'm gonna go. So please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I will admit that though it looks better, I still don't think it looks good. <laughs> I don't know how to fix that problem, but at least it's cheap. And okay, though I did make it a lot smaller and, and stuff, but it's fine. We did it, guys, we did it, it's fine.